Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to be showing you a pair of cards, Volbeat and Illumise, and yes, I was surprised when it was pronounced like that as well, but I am assured that Illumise is actually correct. So, these Pokemon tend to work very well together, or should I say... Volbeat tends to get a little bit of a boost from what Illumise actually does, don't believe me? How about this Volbeat from Triumphant with the beautifully named Illumisile? If you don't have Illumise in play, this attack does nothing. Quite cool. Or the Volbeat from Great Encounters. Once during your turn, if you have Illumise in play, you may search for a discard for a supporter and put it on top of your deck. Or what about the Volbeat from EX Delta Species? As long as you have a Lumise in play, prevent all effects including damage done to Volbeat by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX. They go hand in hand, ladies and gentlemen. They go hand in hand, and that is no different in Sun and Moon 7, I should mention, as is the case most of the time nowadays. Our translations come from the lovely David Hockman over at LimitlessTCG.com slash translations. You should be going there to check translations, but you should be coming here for your news and your analysis. Come here to see the new cards, and if you ever forget what they do, go check out Limitless. Now both of them have 70 HP. Which is pretty gosh darn bad. I'll be blunt with you, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't good. And they've both got a retreat cost of one, which is good because it means post-rotation, escape board, which I expect to see a very large increase in play, will give them free retreat, as well as allowing them to retreat if they are asleep or paralyzed. So that helps quite nicely. And then, of course, they are weak to fire, maybe baby Volcanian. Hey, Nick, but come on. They got like 70 HP. Weakness really is not terribly important when you've got only 70 HP to begin with. And they are both grass type Pokemon, which means they are hitting weakness against some really relevant Pokemon. You've got Lycanroc Midnight Form, which sees a lot of play at the moment. And you've got Lapras, which I believe is going to be very, very good in the new era. I will bring you a video on that in the not too distant future. You just have to give me a couple of days to finish rounding out these cards from Sun and Moon 7. I pride myself on bringing you every card from every set. Would be rude. If I left these bad boys out. As a side note, I did a video about Dragon Majesty recently, the new Dragon Mini set. And in the description, I literally gave you a link to every card in the format analysed by me. Every card in a set, I should say. Anyway, back to Volby and Illumise. So, we'll start with Illumise here. Because, well, it, it makes natural sense. You'll see as we go along. One Grass Energy, 20 damage, plus Confusion. And I don't think you can tell me, honestly, that 20 damage plus confusion isn't a good attack. Because we've seen people for, well, over a year now, using Espeon GX to use Psybeam to do 30 damage plus confusion. Now, admittedly, Espeon hits a better weakness against stuff like Buzzwall, I'll give you that. And obviously, Espeon has other attacks which are really good. But people have to grab an Eevee so that they can use Energy Evolution to get the Espeon to get the turn 1 damage plus Confusion. And here, you can just whack it down. I mean, let's say you are against a Lapras deck. Well, if you whack a Choice Band on a Lumise here, you can actually be doing 100 damage plus Confusion. And if you go second, this can be on the very first turn of the game. That's crazy! Especially because Lapras is going to be sitting there trying to collect and draw a bunch of cards and you're going to be like, ah, hit you for 100 plus confusion. It is a really good tech against stuff like that. I mean, if you're against something like a Lycanroc, same deal. You're getting a two hit KO plus confusion in the meantime. That's really quite nice. I mean, if you're worried about a dangerous rogue, use a Guzma. Bring it in the active, and then if they want to use that big dangerous rogue GX attack, and let's face it, most Lycanroc GXs are going to want to, they've got to flip a heads on confusion, because if they flip tails, then the attack fails and they do 32 themselves. This is actually really quite useful. As a side note, if you want another weakness to be hitting while doing this, don't forget about the Zerkatry. 
which is a nice little lightning Pokemon with pretty much the same attack. 20 damage plus confusion for one basic energy. It's a good attack. The thing is, circuitry, then you've got to add another two energy, you do 100 damage, and if there's three prize cards remaining on your side, then your opponent's active is now paralyzed, but everyone's playing stuff like Guzma to get around it. Now, Illumise doesn't have a second attack, but it does have Volbeat. Weirdly enough, Volbeat is one of the very few Pokemon, if you Google Volbeat, you don't get Volbeat, you get some weird band, which I refuse to listen to, because they ain't Volbeat. And Volbeat has got an even better attack. Now, 20 damage for one grass energy, not good. But if any of your Illumise used Pheromone Sign last turn, that's the attack, this attack does 100 more damage. Now that, I can get on board with. Now the great thing about this is, it doesn't matter if your opponent plays something like a Guzma. It doesn't matter what your opponent's got in the active, what you've got in the active. You, it's not one of those attacks where you've got to keep a Pokemon in the active for two turns, like the rubbish Oracorio from Guardians Rising, for instance, where if your opponent knocks you out the active, it goes away. Oh, no, 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 no. You attack with Illumise, and then you've got this 100 next turn. And there's nothing really your opponent can do about it. And 100 damage is good. One hit KO on Lycanroc, one hit KO on Lapras. Now, admittedly, you then get into kind of awkward territory. Because 100 isn't really enough to KO non-weak non-GXs. But 130, choice band, isn't really enough to KO non-weak GXs. So you end up in a bit of a middle ground if you're not hitting for weakness. Now, don't get me wrong, right? Hitting 100, 130 damage on a basic single prize Pokemon really quite nice it is a good amount of damage especially if you've softened up with Illumise to begin with and that's where this really starts to shine 20 damage plus confusion 50 with a choice band and then in comes Volbeat to do 100 damage 130 with a choice band if you've got a choice band on both of them then all of a sudden you're not really hitting for 100 you're actually hitting for 180 in total Plus confusion. If your opponent flips the tails, then you're up to 210, and stuff like Zoroark is going down. Honestly, this still takes two bench spaces. And you're not doing a huge amount of damage. If you're hitting for weakness, this is great. Honestly, if you use a combination of Illumise and Volbeat, you should smash a deck like Lapras. I mean, they're going to use something like Volcanian Prism Star to try and beat you in the meantime, so you'll have to get around that. But you should smash Lapras, which is great. The issue comes as to whether you're doing enough damage if you're not hitting for weakness here. Now, Confusion is nice, and 100 damage for one energy is nice. But this kind of reminds me of the old Mill Tank. Miltank did 80 damage for one colorless energy if you had a stage 2 on the bench. And I played this like a lot of people did with Vileplume. And what would happen is, I would stop my opponent setting up. But they'd just be able to hit 100. I mean, I'd play like a Lucario deck and they'd get nothing going. And they'd be like, oh, I, I can still just like really easily KO you for one strong energy. And that's kind of the problem here. You're not one hit KOing, but you've got 70 HP. So if you're using this, you're going to be losing a prize every single turn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is a problem. I'm going to be giving these combined three Wossies. Because I think, although they're not great in every deck, if you have a weakness against some kind of grass weak deck, you can pop these in and you will smash them. They will be great techs. Normally speaking, you know what? They're going to probably be a little bit too weak and you're going to be giving a prize up every turn and it's going to be a bit of a pain. But I tell you something for nothing, if you need to hit a grass weakness and you can afford to play grass energy, rainbow energy, etc. Do remember rainbow brush that we looked at just a couple days ago which can help you switch to your one or two grass energy in your deck. Just putting that out there. These will work nicely. Also as a side note, if you can get both of these in a pre-release, it will be beastly. These cards are going to be really, really good in pre-releases. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to hear your thoughts about Volby and Illumise. Did you know it was pronounced Illumise? Honestly, I did not until I went and checked. 
But do you think these cards are any good? Tell me. Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do just that. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.